Hello! Today we're going to talk about adding more users to your Address2 account. So you've gone in, you've set up Address2 as the administrator for your company. Now you need to add a few more folks. So, to add other users or employees at your company, you want to go to your admin screen by doing this. You want to click on the gear button here, it'll take you to your administrative settings dashboard. In here, you'll next go to under account configuration, you'll select users and accounts. Here's where you'll see every user of your system. We have four here. You'll see that they're, here's their name, their email address that they use, and then their actual role or uh, uh, usership of address too. When we want to add a new user, we want to click on new users. And we're going to use Susie as another example. So Susie Smith is what we're going to put in here. You want to make sure you fill out all this information. So Susie at awesomeness.com. You want to assign her a username. Now, if you have a larger organization, maybe more than three or four folks, you want to make their usernames kind of similar. So maybe it's Susie.Smith. And then for now, you want to make her password something like password or 1234 or something, you know, maybe your company name. That way, you can send out an email to your entire company database that says, hey, uh, or employee database that says, hey, I've set us up in our new CRM. Your username is, Su is first name dot last name capital uh, first name capital last name and your password is password and then you may even go on to further to say log in and go to your administrative panel and change your password to something that you'll remember that's a little more safer than just regular old password so that's the first thing or the next thing you want to do after you get this done so now we've put in password now you want to define the user role so basically to quickly go over that um, you have administrators who can see everything in the database, also make administrative changes, changing dropdowns, field labels, etc. You have super users who can see everything but can't make any administrative changes. And then you have your regular users who can only see their data. So we are going to make Susie Smith a regular user in the system. We're going to click, click Save and it's going to create a new user. Now I've already created uh, Susie here, so I'm going to use her as an example. <clears throat> Once you've clicked save, the only other thing that you really need to do is, um, and it'll pop up here, but once you've created this user, you also want to assign additional emails for Addy to recognize. Again, Addy is your virtual assistant in Address2. So if Susie not only uses Susie at awesome.com, but she also uses Susie at gmail.com. For business purposes, note that I said for business purposes, you want to make sure that you also include any other email addresses that Susie uses associated with your business so that Addy can capture that email history and put it into your account under the appropriate contact. So now that Susie is a user, I can go through and start assigning her, uh, assigning her contacts within the database. Now again, she is a regular user, so if I go over here to Mike West, You'll note here that this is Mike West's a con contact card and that I'm the sales representative for this particular account. Now, here's where I have the different users or people in my company or employees that are assigned to this particular contact. I'm currently the only one. Now, everybody else but Susie because their administrators can see this account. Now, if I want to give Susie access to this account, like she's our customer service rep, I want to click on the box that says customer service and I want to select Susie Smith. Now, Susie can actually view this account as well. Now, if she wasn't in here or see Chad Bob is not in here, Chad can't see these because he is not a regular user. And again, that is all done under the admin panel here. Users and accounts, add new user. And I also want to make sure to note again, once you've set up everybody as a user, you want maybe you want to compose a quick email to, you know, the staff. It'll come out and say, you know, user names and passwords in our CRM. You want know, to say, hey, staff, we're all set up in address two. Your username is first dot first name dot last name. Note capital F and L.
So you'll note here, you know, you've set up everybody. This is just a simple email I would send out that says, hey staff, we're set up an address to you. Your username is first, dot, first name dot last name. Note the capital F and L. Your temporary password is password. Please log in and change it to something that you'll remember by going to the admin panel next to the address to logo and clicking on users and accounts. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll meet at two o'clock today to go over how to use this awesome CRM. And that should take no more, you know, depending on how many users you have, it shouldn't take that long for you to get that set up. So there you have it. That's the simple way to add new users into your CRM.